Good day, it's Mike V, I3MW from Flex Radio. And in May of 2025, Flex Radio released Smart SDR 3.9 with adaptive free distortion or smart signal support for Flex 8000 series radios. It's a free software upgrade for any 8000 radio owner today. So why do I need smart signal? Well, because every linear RF transmitter, even your 100 watt radio, induces some degree of non-linearity today. It shows up as distortion and unwanted products in your transmitted signals. Smart Signal corrects for that, giving you a cleaner, narrower signal that sounds better on the air and is more respectful to others on the band. You'll likely get better audio reports and fewer complaints about splatter. So how does it work? Well, Smart Signal builds a dynamic digital equalizer. Um, it's a mathematical correction profile, and it offsets the distortion introduced by your amplifier, so one cancels out the other. It's always listening, and it's always sampling the output. And it always adjusts this correction in real time uh, for variances in temperature and power. That's why we call it adaptive. So which modes does it work with? Well, generally, you're going to use it with sideband and AM modes, two very linear modes. These modes will really benefit the most from smart signal because they rely on the linear amplification for accurate and a clean transmission. So which modes doesn't really, does it work for? It does not operate or have any advantage for constant carrier modes such as FT8, CW, RTTY, etc. Because they don't experience the same type of distortion in the radio. We're using a very narrow part of the amplifier. So there's no real benefit to have adaptive pre-distortion here. Like I said earlier, it's available for all Flex 8000 series owners with the installation of 3.9.23 or greater. And it's a beta feature. So we're still working on it and we still want to hear back from you. And if you're running a version later than 3.9, you'll find adaptive pre-distortion setting or smart signal right in your transmitter settings. And if we look right here, you'll see that on Smart SDR, we can turn it on and off. It goes from available to calibrate, and then when you calibrate, just by speaking in transmit, it will go active. And like we mentioned earlier, it's free for Flex 8000 series owners. There's no hardware to add, uh, and it's ready to go. Smart Signal is also built into the new 500-watt uh, Aurora line of HF radios that we also announced at the same time. And if you haven't seen Aurora, it's pretty cool. You better look at this all-in-one, very efficient solution. And just to make sure you're up to date, have a look at the release notes that come with the software. So the next question, what about external amplifiers from the Power Genius XL to anything else? Well, right now that's not supported, but when it is supported, that will be handled by having a cable interconnect between the external part of the amplifier and one of the input ports on the back of your 8000 series radio. In fact, the transverter port as well, so we are being told. So you can take the minus 60 dB tap on the back of a Power Genius XL or any other amplifier, and a simple cable connects that to the input of RXA, RXB, if you have B, transverter A, or transverter B. So let's have a look at what that looks like if you're hooking up an amplifier. You can see here, and we have that this is the mode that works today in standalone mode. Uh, and then once you have a Power Genius XL, it's a single cable. And if you had a different amplifier without the uh, tap, uh, we are looking at building a add-on tap that, uh, or sampler that would pull the RF, the, you know, the high power RF off the back of the amplifier and feed it back into the radio for processing. What is the real world impact? Well, users are already seeing a 10 to 15 dB improvement in their third order IMD. That means a cleaner audio, um, much reduced bandwidth, and a signal that's easier to share the band with others. In closing, that's Smart Signal, our adaptive pre-distortion software. It's included for free in 3.923. You can download it from the Flex Radio website at www.flexradio.com and install it through the same old methods we've always installed Smart SDR. It automatically installs and updates the radio as required. 
and you can turn it on and off from your Maestro or from within Smart SDR. This is Mike, VA3MW73, and thanks for listening.